Welcome to 2024. Our joint church theme is Enabled to Do Greater Works. This is based off of the scripture, John chapter 14, verses 12 to 14. Our joint 2024 series for the month of January is seven words that can change your life. Yes, no, help, enough, sorry, wow, and thanks. Words have power. Even the simplest words can change the trajectory of your life. Words like help can set an addict towards recovery. Yes can open doors to new dreams. Sorry and thanks can heal families. When you use these small words, God can do big things in your life. Please join us in the month of January for our joint series at Little Rock at 10 a.m. for morning worship and at Shiloh at 12 noon for worship experience. We invite you to join us at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays for Touch Tuesday Bible Study Session. This is a preach, teach, congregate-led lesson where we will have an opportunity to dig deeper and share our insight and perspective on the Sunday Sermon. This Bible study is held via Zoom. The meeting ID is 502 Five two six eight five three five, and the passcode is nine five eight. By telephone, you may dial nine two nine two zero five six zero nine nine and enter the information above. This is a joint Bible study with Shiloh and Little Rock. Please join us for our first Friday's prayer and fasting service. We will fast and pray from sunrise to sunset. At 6.30 p.m., we'll have a sweet hour prayer in the sanctuary. At 7.30 p.m., we'll have a word and worship followed by a fellowship meal. This service will be held on Friday, January 5th, 2024, and our preacher will be our very own Pastor F. Craig Henry. This service will be held at Shiloh Baptist Church. We know that some breakthroughs can only come through fasting and prayer. Let's go to the movies on Saturday, January 6th to see the color purple. This is a story of love and resilience based on the novel and the Broadway musical. It is a decade-spinning tale of one woman's journey to independence. The movie is scheduled for 2.35 p.m. Please use the QR code on the screen to fill out the registration form. There are 34 seats available. Please fill the form out as soon as possible. We would love to see you fellowship with us for this event. Wednesday, midweek Bible study at 7 p.m. Our January teaching resource will be based on the book, Watch Your Mouth by Tony Evans. In this series, we will learn to model God's character with your mouth, showing you how to use the power of language to bless others as you speak life into the world. This midweek Bible study will be facilitated by Pastor F. Craig Henry. You can join via Zoom, meeting ID 849. 3609-5217, passcode 028149, or dial in to one 931 3860 You're invited to our Vision Board Fellowship Eat, Drink, and Create on Sunday, January the 13th at 2.30 p.m. in the Shiloh Fellowship Hall. Donations are $15 per person. 
We are calling the Sisterhood of Christ to join in our virtual women's gathering, a time of fellowship, sharing, and studying, starting Friday, January the 19th at 7 p.m. There will be a virtual fellowship icebreaker. This is always fun and enlightening. A sister-led Bible study on the power of conversation from the book of Luke, chapter 8, verses 43 to 48. As well as the, the power of a woman's word message from Reverend Melissa Page of the historic Rugged Cross Baptist Church. Invite five friends and get a chance to win a prize. You can join us on Zoom, meeting ID 502-526-8535, password 958, or dial in via phone 929-205-6099. The official board of the Little Rock Baptist Church invites you to worship with us in our annual prayer and praise service. Our guest preacher will be Bishop Andre Eaton. The service will be held at Little Rock, located at 958 Glenmore Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, on Friday, January the 26th at 7.30 p.m. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. Psalms 86 and 12. And sisters, I pray that this video finds you prospering and in good health, even as your soul prospers. I'm sharing this video with some year-end notes and new year news to share with you, and I'm asking that each member, friend, and supporter take the time to hear my heart and to join me in a prayerful spirit as we move forward by God's grace and for God's glory. I want to thank and praise God for your witness in work in the kingdom of God throughout the year 2023 to the Little Rock Church family. I appreciate your prayers and support as you've been tremendous in navigating uncharted territory in the church's history as God has continually showed himself mighty and strong in our midst individually and collectively. I know that there are many critics, but to our officers and members and friends, thank you for being doers in a time when there are a lot of sales. And I look forward to our continued ministry partnership in the year 2024, that God might be glorified in all that we do. To the Shiloh Church family, the Holy Spirit has worked in a supernatural way to ensure that ministry continues to move and that God is glorified. We've continued to minister with agonies, and God has given us the faith that is needed for future and the direction that's necessary to live every day to his glory and honor. I am grateful to the officers and members of Shiloh for your support of my unorthodox methods as they yield results because you are helping me to prove that this is not a Henry thing, but this is a God thing. This past year, I have seen the collective clerical ministries of Little Rock and Shiloh combine to prove to the world that we can be one church, not in competition, but complementing each other as we work for the advancement of the kingdom of God, knowing that only what we do for Christ will last. I want to also thank the deacon board of both congregations. Thank you, fellas. Thank you to the women's ministry, the ushers, the greeters. And most of all, I am grateful for the partnership that has taken place between our missionaries on both spectrums to come together to make sure that we meet the needs of our communities, believing that what Jesus said is true, which is we'll have the sick, the shut in, and the poor 
with us always. As we move into this new year, 2024, for God's glory, our theme for the year was outlined in our ministry's vision casting weekend. Very sharply, we will share information about a vision board fellowship where we will come together. We will make our vision board individually and then we will design vision boards for both churches but for one congregation. I'm asking for your continued support. I'm asking for your continued prayers. But most of all, I'm asking for your presence and your participation. In this incoming year 2024, it is no longer acceptable to just be a virtual church. God is calling for us to be present so that we don't miss the moment to be there for God and to be there for one another. I want you to pray with me, partner with me. We're starting the year with our first Friday fast. I would love for you to join us in fasting on the first Friday of the month and to be in prayer and worship with us. Information will be shared. And I thank God for all of you. Let me also thank the ministerial staff of both congregations. Thank you for you continuing to trust me. I pray that we will continue to work together cohesively as a team to make sure that all that we do God is glorified. There's some exciting things that we will do. Every Tuesday, we will have a membership-based Touch Tuesday Bible study where members of the congregation will share from the sermon on the Sunday. And then on Wednesday, I will take the lead as the midweek Bible study teacher. I am looking forward. I'm looking forward for our Beyond the Wall Fellowship. I'm looking forward for an annual retreat. In closing, we're in the process of putting together a joint vision team where members of both congregations will get together, go through our calendar of events, and see where we can work cohesively and perhaps once per quarter in this year. Do one major thing that will bring the congregation together. We're looking forward to having joint men's weekend, joint women's weekend, joint youth weekend, so that our congregations can come together. Fellowship. I believe that fellowship is the lifeline of the church. And while we can't do it like we used to, we'll find ways to incorporate technology so that even though we are apart in distance, we can be knitted together in spirit. Listen, God is about to blow your mind. I want you to get ready. Remember, it's really not about me, it's not about you. It's all to the glory of God. I'm serving as the pastor, but as I've said to you, I'm like your personal trainer. There are times when you're not going to like me, when you're going to love me, and in the end, your physical, spiritual, and mental being will prove to the world that you have spent some quality time with a God who will meet you where you are and take you where he wants you to be. God bless you. Do me a favor. Pray for me. I'm praying for you. And remember, if you don't quit on God, God won't quit on you. Namaste. The divinity in you salutes the divinity in you.